Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I am super excited to be back with you today and share with you a Studio Calico haul. I also um, wanted to share that there is a YouTube Studio Calico. And yesterday when I was taking care of our grands and during their nap time, I turned it on. And it was so pleasant because I could genuinely just watch it with, um, you know, what is it, closed caption, or, you know, I could turn it off. I could, and, and a lot of times it was a lot of just, um, <clears throat> pardon me, music and exampling what they were doing or just sharing how they went through their process. Um, it made me rethink some of the things that I have been killing myself over trying to figure out what do I do? What do I do? I have so much I want to catch up on in my memory keeping. I am a very old um, uh, creative memories person, so paper's always been a big part of it. The actual paper album that you put things on, you know, that kind of a thing. But um, I've also done some of the drop sleeve stuff. And hold on, guys. I just noticed my hands are so dry and I don't want to <laughs> keep going with you having to look at them. So I'm putting a little lotion on while we're talking. But I am, and by the way, if you guys haven't tried this, go to Trader Joe's. This stuff is so good. It is so good. Anyway, sorry, sorry, I digress. I apologize. Um, but I, I really, because I really want more stamped images. I want more actual writing, things like that. And so again, I've done the drop sleeve. I've done all kinds of different things. And I think I've come to a happy medium of a little bit of both. And um, I love junk journaling. I um, loved One Year for Christmas. I made everybody a junk journal. And I really, really loved that. Um, this year for Christmas, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Our, um, daughter and son-in-law did the print and click and we've done that. I've done that as well. Um, digital scrapbooking and it, it, it is very nice and easy. It's really easy. Let's get real. It's really easy. You can sit on your couch and get it done. You know what I mean? But there's something about paper. I'm a paper crafter. I love paper crafting. Um, there is something about texture. I love texture. You know, we had a spinning, weaving, sewing business. So there's, there's a lot to do with, um, texture and textiles and just creating just the process. So anyways, I had already placed this order and I just thought, wow, what good timing. And, um, and the girls were so sweet about it. Um, for first off, wonderful day. If you guys want to know, absolutely um, amazing day. The oldest was so excited that when it was nap time, she, um, she just kept looking on the couch, looking at me like, you know, and, and she was just watching me. And I finally said, sweetie, you got to go night night so you can get up and we can paint our giraffe and all the projects I had, you know, um, paint our giraffe. Um, we were going to play with the counting bears, counting and coloring color bears we sort. And then our stickers, put stickers in your sticker book for awards for the different things. You know, if she's, if she's obeyed, she's been kind, she's, um, uh, uh, she's potty training. So some of that too. And then just, you know, they're, um, and, and, uh, obeying. And we were trying to work on the, the concept of obeying the first time, not the second or the third. This isn't a, this isn't a bargaining. This is about, I need you to help me, please. And she would do it. And it took like the second time. And when she learned she got a sticker, if she obeyed the first time and they were better stickers, you betcha, man. I mean, we'll work for stickers. And she had the best time. And I had made her a little book the last time we were there. And we put her stickers in her book. And she was just so excited. And, um, but she was so funny. She was, she was looking at me and I thought, cause the lights were down. I had dimmed the lights and I thought she was like kiss blowing kisses or whatever at me. And she wasn't, she was sticking her tongue back and forth and back. And, forth. and I think she was just playing is what she was doing. And, and I, you know, told her I blew her a kiss and I said, you need to go night night. And then she looked at me and I knew what she was doing. So I stuck my tongue back at her and she just had this look like, Oh, Oh, she can see me. <laughs> and, so, and I smiled and I said, have sweet dreams. And she was just like, that was it. She was asleep. And she's amazing. I don't know how. I can't go to sleep the way she goes to sleep. It's amazing. But anyways. Um, and then and then the baby did not want to go to sleep at all. I mean, she and if she did, she'd wake up. <clears throat> she'd sit up. I was holding her. She'd sit up and look at me and like, you know, she was like, okay, where am I? What's going on? 
And she'd look at me and she'd have this huge smile. And then she would dive back into my chest and go to sleep. Yes, my ribs are killing me today. But there is no way I was going to miss a second of that. And she did it like three times. And when I first got there, um, she was so funny. Big, um, my daughter calls it toothy grin because she has all these teeth coming in. And she you know, squints her eyes. She's laughing, so smiling so hard. And she jets her chin out. And my daughter, I said, this smile, it's just, it's explosive. And she goes, oh, yeah, the toothy grin. I said, no, it's that she squints her eyes and she throws her head back. And she goes, and she sticks her chin out. And I said, yes, yes. And she goes, yeah, yeah. And, and. She just did it all day. It was one of those things where I'm holding her, so I couldn't get a picture of it, But and my husband was working upstairs. But it was one of those amazing, um, just, it was like she just couldn't contain herself, you know? And when she slept, she held on to me just as tight as could be, like, don't you dare put me down. <laughs> and they had to put her down twice on the couch. And she can get up and down off the couch. She's totally fine. Um, you know, she's starting, she's heavily cruising. She will be walking very soon. And, um, she, um, so I put her on the couch and I said, please stay right here. I'll be right back. And then, cause we had to make them the blueberry muffins I had promised to make with, um, our granddaughter and you, the kitchen and the couch are so close. You know, there's a whole huge window. You could see everything. Um, I mean, it's like, there isn't even really a wall there and, um, <clears throat> pardon me. So we made the muffins and she would be looking, she was up on the edge of the couch, holding on, staring, leaning towards me, smiles, you know, every time I'd look at her and I would dance with, you know, oh, yay, hi, you know, that, you know, that snuggly bear and she just huge smile and it'd be like, just one more minute. I'm, and I would sing and talk and anyways, and then another time I had her into the ladies room and, um, so she took her nap and of course she held on to me the whole time. And we were working on the one of the projects, the little giraffes, and um, she I have a little wooden giraffe from the Dollar Tree, and we were painting it all yellow, and I have the brown, and it was raining yesterday, so it would not, a huge storm hit that afternoon, and anyways, um, great conversation about science and why, how we have lightning and thunder, and anyways, um, my, um, I would try to put the baby down so I could set up the yellow paint, and I mean, I think one foot touched the floor and she was like, uh, uh, I'm not going down for anything. And she was like right beside me. And I mean, I picked her right back up and she did let my husband hold her, which she would let him hold her for a little while, but you know, immediately right back to me. But, um, it's really good. She's just started going to mother's day out and I can tell she start. she's learning to have to go to other people. And that's really good for her. I mean, yes, I love being, you know, so tied to my grandchildren, but they have to be able to be with other people too. And that's very important. That's a part of their character growth. But you could just tell that it was, it was like, wow, wouldn't it be wonderful? We could go every day somewhere where somebody thought, you know, you're just like, you know, you know, jam on my toast. You know what I mean? Just the bee's knees when you walk in the door. And I mean, I, you get the Mimi Chris, la, 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 you know, all the dancing and the singing and the, oh, it's just, oh, goodness gracious. And, you know, it's, it's who do I hug first? Because <laughs> they're never together. And, um, I always have to like, look at both of them. I'm going to hug you. I'm going to hug you. Let me put everything down first. Okay. Let me put everything down first. And, you know, and I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. And it's just, it's precious. It's just precious. And that those sweet little girls, let me watch this and it made my heart recognize that, you know, I don't know how long I'll have on this earth. I don't know how much time I'll have. But I do know one thing is that I do want to tell my family how much I love them. And to me, that's what scrapbooking was all those years ago. It was about, you know, I started in, I started when I was a kid. I mean, you know, with the old, like, you, you know, you pull it up and it sticks down and you put it down. And then I also had the kind where you drop the sleeves in. When I was really young, like in junior high, and I went on a trip um, with my um, school to Washington, D.C. And and I love photography. So you, you, you could see how this could kind of go together. And then, um, but I just honestly, um, I don't have baby albums done for the older two. I never did of my children. I started, I looked at, I thought about it. 
The youngest was easy to do because it also tied on to our trip to China, and that was amazing. Um, I also have an album to make for the girls that we lost, you know, and the love letter I want to put in there. And I just think that as time goes on, um, I just kind of want to catch up on some things and then make sure that I want to get done now what needs to be done. And then I want to go back and catch up. And, but sitting with those baby girls while they were sleeping and the oldest, uh, just the most precious, like if it were a commercial, the way her hair was fixed and she was all, you know, cuddled up on the couch. Um, it was just, it was, it was priceless. And I, of course, had to get that picture and then picture of the baby. And even I took a picture of where the baby was holding me so tight, you know, my arm and she holds my one, one hand, she holds my shirt. And then the other hand, she holds my, um, hair or necklace or jacket or whatever. And it, you know, by the collar and, or my hand either way. And, um, just precious. You know, it's, it's amazing. And the first scram baby isn't as snuggly, but she always comes and sits in my lap. She always, like, if I put the baby down, she looks at me and it's like, do you want to sit up? Yes, yes, ma'am. And it's like, every time, every time I put the baby down, you can come sit in my lap. And I didn't get that done yesterday. I just recognize that. And I always try to make sure that I have just her in my lap at some point or another. But she was very busy. She was very, very busy. <laughs> so I didn't know. But I loved that Studio Calico had all, they even had like early designers on there it were in the, in the paper crafting industry. So it was really fun to watch it. Um, and I didn't really study it, but I would just look up every now and then because let's be honest, I was studying my grandbabies. So <laughs> they were just gorgeous. Oh, so let me share with you. This had already come in. It was at the gate when I got home and I just want to open it, put it away, get everything going. And, um, yeah, and I have another smaller order that's coming from them. Um, if it's worth showing, I'll show it to you guys. If, if it's kind of repeat and repeat, I'll let you know. So, all right. So the first thing I did do was I picked up another one of these. These were on clearance. This is just a little pin. I'm putting them on my um, my my um, Heidi Swap bag. And I think what I'm going to do with these is I think I'm going to start... Um, kind of using these as a marker, you know, not only does it encourage me to pull out your colored pencils, get color on the page, etc., but when you get X amount done, there's your sticker. <laughs> this is the, this is the grandmommy sticker. Okay. <laughs> I think that's fun. So, um, I, I look, I, I work for rewards too, you know, I mean, I think I admitted to the other day that I started my first Le Pen was when I had lost weight. I had I, you know, was going to Weight Watchers and the old way to, of rewarding myself was let's go get a chocolate bar or ice cream. And that's what I grew up with them. Every time we had a special um, church event, like my choir sang or whatever, my daddy always took us to Baskin Robbins. Yeah, it was a habit. Whoops, woo, the fan's on. <laughs> um, that's not bad for somebody with bad ribs. Um, anyway, so yeah. Okay, so these are just a bunch of tickets and ephemera. And, um, so, you know, and I know I'm not buying it without a code on sale, etc. The There are a few things that will be seasonal that I will buy. Like I, I want the large autumn, the large summer, the large spring and the large fall. Those are important. I just want those for my own personal, uh, I mean, not fall, uh, large winter. I want these for my personal, um, plans and whatnot so that's what that's about so i just picked up oh no i know exactly what these are what am i thinking okay guys so what this is remember when i kept finding all these like monthly things you know like it would be march or april or whatever it would have on it this is a whole kit of just um so if the, let me just go here so february there will be feb there will be february there will be two there will be all of that so this is, I think, six sets of each month. How great is that? So, and I bought the whole year. You can buy it by the quarter. I bought the whole year. Now, I'd hope they were bigger, but I'm happy with what I have. And honestly, in the end, I'm probably going to be very happy with that, but we'll see. And I also, when I was watching some of the videos, I also saw where they were, um, different ways they were doing 
which is more junk journalist like, and I loved it. And so I was like, Ooh, I could do that. Ooh, I've done that. Ooh, let's try that. You know, that kind of a thing. So, all right. So I picked up, um, an autumn. I want the autumn. I think there's a summer, but I want to double check all my stamps. If I don't have a large summer, then I will go back. If they still have it, I will purchase it. And, um, but right now I just wanted to get this in for fall. I'm excited. It's September. It is still hot here, but we have had a break. My, my husband's like, there's no break in the weather. And I said, oh no, we're not 106 every day. I mean, we're, we're hitting the low nineties, but we have nice mornings, nice evenings. So, um, but I'm excited to play with this. And I think this is going to be my stamp that I won't even put away. I'll just keep it out. And so it says stay cozy, fall vibes. And then you've got the tea kettle, the house, the light, the leaves, the change of season, seasons, like through the window, the rain, which is what we had yesterday, with a cup of um, something cold, uh, hot to drink, moments that matter. Here we go. Um, homebody. Let's see. Savoring these moments. So thankful for this. Gather together. Happy to be here. Code cool and crispy. Sorry. Um, cozy and comfy. This is so magical. Family time. Seasonal uh, favorite. And this means time. This means the world to me, pardon me. And I think that's it. So really, I love this. Um, it also kind of ties into that fall gratitude. So yeah, you know, so, so thankful, you know, yes, definitely. So I love that. I'm going to set that over here in my current goodies. I also picked up more journaling spots. I love these. I don't think these are the best deal. These are, I think these were on clearance, um, but I don't think these are the best deal, but I really like them. I'm very, um, I love ledgers, grids, things like that, just because my dad was a CPA and I did a lot of work on ledgers and inputting information, et cetera. So I love this. This just reminds me of this, but it's just, it's happier because it has colors and I love my dad and I loved, I didn't always love working for him because you know, when you're 13, 14, yeah, that's not what you want to do, but I loved that I did and then was able to have that experience. I picked up these two. I thought, how pretty for Christmas. Either one of these, that would be pretty for Christmas. That, that might be something for New Year. I don't know. But this is just chipboard, um, sticky back um, with the different types of, or different sizes of stars. And I really like that. Okay. So, and that's how you have to do when you're shopping the sales. You got to kind of plan ahead a little. All right, so now I don't have everything on here because it would be kind of bulky. I picked up their 6x8 binder, which is much bigger than 6x8. This is the only set that would fit this officially 6x8. So I was kind of frustrated with it. And I spent a lot of time researching, looking for, trying to find more. Um, I do have some, I think I've ordered from Amazon. I'm waiting to see if it's going to come in. And then I also picked up some of the three by eights. And so this one, you have a variety. You have the full, the half, you know, the different uh, sizes. And that works for me. I'm really happy with this. I think it's going to be fun to do. Um, these, the only reason these were the only ones left is because these aren't going to be as easy to do. They're not going to be as fast. But, and they're all one kind. I believe you get 10 in each one. Um, I noticed that some vary. This one is a 20 pack, which makes sense because it's, you know, half size. But I do love this. There's also a 3x8 album, and that is coming in the next um, the next order. I also had picked this up thinking that I would use my, um, uh, my planner pages. They were made for this album. But when I looked at it, I realized this isn't a planner. This is an album. There's a difference. So I had already ordered this when I went back and ordered the, the pink planner that I picked up. So you can memory keep with those as well. And I might. I'm not sure yet. I also have a slew of stuff out in the cottage. Um, it's getting cooler, so I may start going out there more. And now that we're not going every single week to take care of the grands, that may be my golden opportunity. We don't know yet. So I'm excited to kind of start with that. I also picked up some paper. Always oh, choose adventure. Look at that. So um, I just felt like right now I've got a lot of projects. I do have a lot of paper. I love this. That's for travel. Um, I just think, well, obviously this whole thing is for travel. Let me see. What is it called? It doesn't say. 
Okay, well, these were on clearance. So I picked up a 12 by 12 of this. I think I've gotten every page, yeah. But I, I, I have some projects I'm working on. I just needed some paper quickly. And then I also have um, this one, which is another 12 by 12. It does not say what it is. And I is it? It's the same one. Yeah. And the reason I got these, these were on sale for three, I think $3.99 or $2.99. I got these very, 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 very cheap. Um, okay. So I've shown you all of that. And, oh, and I wanted to show you. So I have been doing um, little mini books um, with um, card. Um, these are all cards. These are all American craft cards. And I have some that aren't American craft, but they, I've already been putting these together. And um, I still have to put the covers on them and then kind of build out. But I figured when I looked at this, this might be something that I could coordinate with, you know, like to to layer or mat, mat with it. So I felt like this was a really good, um, not perfect match, but it doesn't have to be perfect, right? We can just make it be what we need it to be. And... And that one doesn't, but there are others in here. Like, even though that green is different than what's in here, I might layer with that. Um, there are just some things that you can do that are fun, and they kind of coordinate, and they're close enough, and it works out fine. So, um, yeah. All right. And I've got a stack of those over there I've been doing. I think I have one more to do of that. So I'm thrilled about this, and I think in the next order I have one of these come in again. So I'm going to have three of these. Yes, which is good because I'm making four out of that one set of cards. And I can bring back that and share it with you. But anyways, um, I also picked up some of these. So you guys know how much I love these, how much um, these are just fantastic. But what I'm coming to really understand is I don't necessarily want the ones that have the Traveler's Notebook. I really want more just the memory ones. So, And I'll share why in a minute. Um, cause it's very, I think it's called the documenter is the other one. Number one, love these bags. I, I don't know how many times I heard that yesterday. I love that in every bag, you're going to get some kind of ephemera and, um, and it just gets your brain going. Everything is color coordinated. It, it is no doubt. It's fantastic. This one also comes with some acetate ephemera. And I believe there is a bit of a beach theme in there. Um, I think cause it looks like a sand dollar. And it does, because this is a summer one. So, um, you know, summer treat, um, simply the best, ice cream time, soft surf time, totally satisfied, pure delight, grab a bite, good eats, and there you go. So, all right. And then, of course, they have their own color theory, which I love. And I have a whole bag of just color theory that I have set up from them because I've purchased additional ones. But for this, I'm going to keep it with it. Um, every one of these, you always get some kind of an alphabet. This one is fun. I don't have anything like this, so this will be fun. This puts me way outside my comfort zone. And then if you don't remember, these little traveler's notebooks are a jewel. And they are, they are really, if you are, um, like going on a trip or you are just, you have just no more time left. They do one page decorated, one blank, or something like that that helps you fill something in. But it is usually one page decorated, one page with some kind of grid. And then look at that so you can um, list whatever is going on. And so I think this is a lot of fun. Um, they're nice quality. It is super easy. And then, of course, the gorgeous washi. They never, ever not give us washi um, in this type of kit. So it is really beautiful. I honestly think this is a great way. If you're a brand new paper crafter and, and uh, memory keeper, I think this is a great way to do it. Um, if you need to journal for your sanity like me, um, this is a great way to do it too. It's very affordable. Now, is this a little late? Yes, this is summer. I paid for it after the fact because I didn't want to pay full value. I know, I'm cheap. You may want to subscribe, which I'm looking at subscribing with them after... Um, uh, maybe in, in the, the month of November. So anyways, but um, again, I love these bags. These are perfect to throw in your purse, throw in a tape runner, a pair of scissors, you're good to go, and a pen. You're done. Okay. Um, these all have little um, uh, phrases or sentiments or what have you, and it's um, they're great to get you started uh, journaling. Good things take some time. Um, 
something about visualize it. Yeah, just visualize it. So those are wonderful. And then I love, these are journaling spots. So you're always going to get a journaling spot. These are great. And you're looking at that going, you can't journal in that. Sure you can. You can do all kinds of stuff in a little circle. You can even go outside of the circle. It's a lot of fun. Um, let's see here. They all come with a stamp. So this one is about details, ups and downs currently. So these are also, um, they're small stamps, but they're great stamps. And it, you can buy them separately and they're not that inexpensive. So um, my daughter and I just had the discussion about the Star of David. Um, and this is what this reminds me of. Uh, it is really beautiful. I, if I don't use it now, I'll definitely use it during um, Hanukkah. You know, it's important to us. These are letters, if you can't tell. They're clear, they're acetate, and they have um, sticky back on them. So these are going to be fun to use. Um, they're pretty light, so I'm interested to see how they're going to show up on a page. But, you know, that's the challenge of it. You know, now you get to figure out how does this work best. I love this washi. I've gotten it before. I love the colors. I'd actually use this going into fall. I think that's beautiful. And let me see. So this, and I'm trying to remember what this kit was called. I can't remember the names of the kits. I'm just not there. I'm sorry. Um, too many things in my head that need to be remembered. I'm not remembering the names of the kits. I'm trying to see if it has on here. No, it doesn't. Not that I can see. Okay. I love this one. I think this was fairy tale, maybe. I may be wrong, but um, I love that. I love that dot grid. But it is so pretty, and it get it gets you journaling. It get, whoops, sorry, it gets you thinking. It gets you out of your comfort zone. Um, it makes you have to put down on paper things that you just um, want to remember. Things you're going through, lessons you've learned. People you've loved seeing, you know, the, just memories, just keeping your memories. And I will tell you, um, having had a mother who um, had Alzheimer's and passed away from Alzheimer's and a grandmother with dementia, um, I had made my grandmother a photo album and created a memory style. And um, one day I showed up, my mom had made the decision to put her in a nursing facility. So I went by there every day. And, um, and I mean, when I could. Later, I couldn't get by as many times because I had all my kids and we were having to drive to everything. I mean, like other towns away. And, um, but I would go by, um, very, so often that the director made me get a flu shot for free. <laughs> she was like, you're here all the time. I'm giving you a flu shot. I was like, oh, okay. Um, we, well, I, can I pay you for it? No, you're not going to pay me for it. You're a volunteer staff. <laughs> so it, she was so great. But I remember I walked in and my grandmother was confused. It only happened twice. And um, it actually happened one time. This is that one time. Sorry. And she um, looked at me and she knew me, but she didn't know me. And we had been gone that weekend to pack out her apartment. And she'd had a woman that worked for her. But um, who had started packing some things and then I started recognizing things were missing. You know how that goes. And then because um, this was way in South Texas, we had to go down to Corpus and um, things were missing. Um, things have been packed improperly. So I just was like, um, I appreciate what you did. Let's unpack everything because we had moved so many times. I mean, my dad was like, we couldn't hire movers to do what you did. And I said, no, no, the kids are good. I'm good. We we can handle it. Don't worry about it. It'll be good. You know, and um so anyways, but I sat there when I got back. She didn't know who I was, and I was exhausted, and that was devastating to me. And then um, I pulled out that album, and we started from the beginning where she believed she was in time, and then we moved forward, and she came back. And I remember I was, you know, by the time we left, it was all good, and I remember stopping by the nurse's station. There was a gentleman who was the nurse there. And he said, what you did for your grandmother is better than any pill we can give her. And I said, thank you. That's very nice of you. So he said, no, no. I wish every family member would do that. You know, with family with Alzheimer's or dementia or whatever. And I said, you know, I just said, um, she's just, you know, too precious to me to not take the time. And my mom had already been there with, I can't remember if my brother was with her. I can't remember. But, um, and I was devastated that in front of them, she couldn't remember who I was. It was the first time. And it was just like, and I came home and just bawled 
I mean, by the time I came home, my husband was with the kids. I walked in, said hello, and I just went in the bedroom and just bawled. And he came in and he was like, what is wrong? And I said, she didn't know me. So memory keeping is beyond important in family um, history and storytelling and telling your story, telling the story of others, um, lo love letters, you know, love letters to your family. So um, as much as I'm telling you this, all these fingers are pointing back at me. I got to get busy and I'm ready. I've got everything organized right here to the right of me. I don't have to go out into the cottage or into the office. I could sit right here and do it, or I can put it in my one little bag and take it out and go do it. So yeah. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> I'm through. I'm through. I promise. Another great bag. Um, I love more of these like fun, funky stars. So much fun. And this one says, beautiful. Make every day lovely. There is light inside of you. The date and hold on. It says, make every day amazing and see beauty in all. And I think that's an important thing. Is your glass half full, half empty? All right. Love, love and happiness. Um, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Amen. Um, no bad days. Good stuff. All right. Tons of journaling cards. So you have this size and then you have the full size. The I think it's four and a half by six. I do need to get that measurement down. I love word fetty. So these are just pre-done little statements that say things like today was a good day. A new day. Do not want. You know, whatever. It just starts that conversation going on your journaling page. Sorry, I didn't mean to snap at you. Letters. Look at all these letters. Oh, my goodness. I want to see how many there are. Um, I'm thinking. Oh, my goodness. There's a lot. Hold on. <laughs> so, there is one. Oh, maybe there's just two. But, hey, two is good, right? Um, two. Oh, three is even better. Oh, 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 oh. Is there four? Oh, my goodness. Doggone, there are four sheets and they're nice quality cardstock, sticky back. Yay, love that. Okay, this caught my eye. I love photography, I've loved it all along. I love sepia. Um, these are done with more of a pink tint, but I love, um, I love black and white sepia. Any of those types of um, pictures, I mean, freaky love it. Um, it's some of my favorite stuff. Huge Ansel Adams fan, you know. And I love in these, the documenter, you get the month bigger. And I love that. So if I were to join, pardon me, their subscription, I would do the documenter. Um, you know, it, it just, yeah, that's like a total no-brainer to me. And I'm glad that I went through and bought these both. Because it still gives me a nice supply of these to put in a, in a bag when we travel, whatever, anything like that. But... To see which one I like long term, it's the documenter. Um, yeah, I mean, I just have, I, I just, it's it's a great thing to figure it out. And I noticed like this is sold separately, even though, you know, um, if it, in any of these, it, whether you're getting the documenter or the traveler's notebook, you still can purchase their, certain things separately. And they will have the each individual items available for season until they run out. So, <clears throat> pardon me. Life is good, super fun, happy to be here. Little treasures. Now, that's what I'd say about my grands. Amazing view beach and then all the seashells. I love that. I have pictures from our trip to the coast with our grandbabies and our children, and that will be one of the things I'll do. Um, also, journaling spots. Again, you get different kinds of journaling um, encouragements. It works out beautiful. More of the chipboard stickers. This is fun. On an adventure. Relax, enjoy, have fun. A little getaway, happy place, um, exciting, stay cool, tastes like summer, good eats, uh, little summer joys, and then an arrow. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. More journaling cards. Yes, perfect for drop sleeves, right? Or any 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 scrapbooking. So you have um, like the AT, ATC size, and then you have the full size. And if you remember, it matches a lot of the stuff in there. So it can all bleed together. We also have letters, two sides, and then, of course, the gorgeous bag. So, I really, really, really do. Oh, and I forgot to show you. Hold on. And this one is for June. Isn't that cute? Seriously, and these are like wood veneer. So cute. So, 
I'm trying to make sure I didn't set anything else to the side. <laughs> this um, <clears throat> is, these are all the, the calendar. And then, of course, I have the actual album and goodies. So I feel like this has turned out to be a very um, <clears throat> well-needed, resourceful order that just kind of completes me out on different projects from paper crafting projects to, um, <clears throat> pardon me, more like if I don't get one that doesn't have a month or if I just use something that I don't have to have that month, I've got this as a resource pool. I mean, literally for six years. Yeah, I can go back. And um, <clears throat> just one second, guys, let me get a sip of tea. <clears throat> pardon me. And I just ordered a ton of tape runner and a repositional tape runner. So I have stacks and stacks of, of uh, printed pictures out in the cottage. I can bring those in or I can start on this year, which is what I think I'm going to focus on the 2022 pictures. And this is about the time of year. I always get focused on this. I don't know why it's always in the fall. I don't know. Um, maybe because I know Christmas is coming and I want to make gifts. I don't know, but it's important to me. So Tell me, leave a comment below. Tell me what do you, what type of, do you memory keep? And if so, how do you go about it? Do you do the um, old fashioned, um, you know, lift and stick or creative memories where you have the blank page and you fill it in? Do you do the drop sleeve like these? Um, what do you do? Or do you do a combination of all? I'd love to hear what you, I mean, even creative memories has drop sleeves. Yes. Um, I don't want to work with such large albums. That's with arthritis. I've recognized that, yeah, it's never any fun for me. So, and, and they do have smaller albums, but, um, I'm going this route. I just decided I can afford this a lot better. And, um, even as a consultant or advisor or whatever they call it now, um, I just feel like right now this works for me. And so, but I still have tons of creative memories. I can pull in all that ephemera. It all mixes and matches. You don't have to go with one. I've got lots of Heidi Swap, lots of Studio Calico. I'll pull in some of my creative memories. And then I also have my Stampin' Up. I have all my papers and stamps and whatnot. So I feel like there's a great, and Stampin' Up has their memory keeping as well. Um, so you just have to find what works for you. Okay, friends, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you didn't mind my long, long chat about my gorgeous granddaughters. But um, I love it. I, lo I just love that time with them. So it's always so precious to me. But it all tied in together with Studio Calico, the YouTube Studio Calico, all of that. It's just been um, just a blessing. Just, just, just a blessing. You know, I, I love... Um, I love how God just brings all these things together. And then like my brain goes, click, I get it. Okay, I get it. I totally get what next steps are. I totally get what I'm supposed to be focused on. I, tol I totally get, I totally get, you know, when those kind of things. So anyways, all right, friends, I pray your day is blessed, creative, lovely. Thank you if you stayed all the way to the end here. I so appreciate all of you. And um, I hope you have a great day. All right, friends, write those memories down. It's important. It's important, even if you don't have children, it's important to your sisters, to your brother, to your nieces, to your nephews, to your neighbors. You never know. Okay, friends. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Y'all take care. Be safe. Bye now.